So Norma should be the poster for a caring community. She was honored as the Support Staff Employee of the Year last spring. She is a paraprofessional in our special ed and life skills classroom. And she has served with love and patience for 20 years, first at George Mason and now at Thomas Jefferson. Thank you, Norma. And then finally, Carol Seaver is our school counselor, and I don't know how Carol's gonna feel about me saying this, but she is a 30-year employee. 30 years. Carol has literally helped generations of children work through problems that almost all of us would find debilitating. Generations she has done this. The world has changed a lot in those 30 years, but Carol continues to be a kind, caring presence in the lives of all of us who are lucky enough to know her. Thank you, Carol. So if our honorees can please get together for a photo. Well, welcome back to the 2019-2020 school year. Since this is my 30th year, that means I started at TJ for the 1989-90 school year, which may have been before some of you here were born. <laughs> I was the first counselor at that TJ had since elementary schools had not been required to have them in Virginia until that year. Janet Kramer, who had been a first grade teacher at Mount Daniel, became the first counselor there. There was one counselor at the middle school, Phil Lindsay, and the middle school was housed in a section of George Mason. That first year, the three of us worked with the George Mason Director of Counseling to develop a K-12 counseling program. TJ was a second through fifth grade school with all classes contained within the old part of the building. There were four teachers per grade level and about 400 students. Because of the growth, soon the second grade addition was built onto the school and some of the fifth grade classes eventually ended up being in trailers and then eventually moved on to MEH when it was built. Fast forward to today and the second grade is now at Mount Daniel for the first time, at least since I've been here. 
Before coming to TJ, I had worked at another elementary school for three years. I enjoyed working there, I learned a lot, I made friends, but after three years, I decided that is long enough to stay in any one place. <laughs> and somehow, here I am 30 years later. I think that speaks to this school system and the amazing, creative, dedicated people who have worked here and who still do. I have felt honored to be part of this system and to work with so many wonderful people over the years. I told this story before about how I, I had applied to Fairfax and Falls Church for a counseling position back in 1989. At that time, my daughter was starting kindergarten in Fairfax and her school did not have an open house or a meet the teacher before school st started, so I wanted to walk her in on that first day of school. I asked the principal where I'd be working if it would be okay if I came in just a little bit late that first day so I could walk my daughter to her class. She said no, they should have uh, meet the teacher, which I thought so too, but they weren't. So at that same time, Bill Thomas, who was the principal at TJ, called to offer me the job there. I asked him the same question, and his response was quite different. He told me that I must take my daughter to her first day of kinder kindergarten and not to rush in. It wasn't so much that I got to come into school a half an hour late that caused me to change my mind and take the position at TJ. It was a difference in attitude. It showed me that the needs of individual people were looked at and there was an atmosphere of understanding and caring. And that made all the difference. Over the years, I continued to see the caring and concern for the individual, for staff, for students, and the community. One of the important components of our system to me has been that in addition to the academic excellence we strive for and see, is the level of importance that is placed on the social, emotional, and mental health needs of our students. I love being able to talk to students in classes about how, a pro how to problem solve with others or what constitutes a big deal compared to a little one or what does someone do when a rumor is being spread or how do you help someone who is being left out or picked on and what kind of actions can they take. Helping them realize that they have choices in the way they behave and the actions that they choose. I also love that we are teaching mindfulness in some of our classes and see some of the students really benefiting from this. So thank you, Sharon, for pushing that. People have told me that they'd find it hard to listen to the drama between students if they did my job. It's not that I like drama. I like to think of it differently. They are young and they are learning. And if I can help them to listen to each other, see the other's perspective, and walk away with new insight and friendly feelings towards one another, then hopefully they've learned that we can still respect others, even if they think and feel differently than we do. In talking individually with students, we hope they learn to understand themselves and accept their feelings and learn that they do have choices in the way they behave and can even change the way they are feeling. It is very rewarding to help children learn more about themselves as well as others and to learn that we are all more alike than we sometimes think. I am proud to work for such a wonderful school system that promotes the emotional needs of our students and sees the importance of a caring culture for our students as well as our staff and community. Over the years, I've seen many changes of people, programs, and facilities. This year, after 30 years, I am going to make a change too. 
I'm going to be working part-time with a second grade at Mount Daniel in addition to working at TJ. So change is part of life and keeps us growing. So thank you and have a great school year. Carol, thank you for choosing us 30 years ago. Thank you for your optimism and your dedication to the City of Falls Church Schools. We appreciate you very much. We're now joined by the George Mason Chamber Singers, singers who will be performing Meet Me Here from Considering Matthew Shepard. <laughs> 